Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to be talking about the Dungeons & Dragons Essentials box. Uh, it just came out in June of 2019. Uh, it was an absolute smash. It's one of the biggest product successes of Dungeons & Dragons ever, uh, ever. And I really want to talk about the product victory of the Dungeons & Dragons Essentials box, and specific, ha specifically how it succeeds against the D&D starter set, okay? So the DNC starter set came out years ago, three or four years ago. Um, it's really a pretty bad product, in my opinion, right? So you have Dungeons & Dragons, you have the greatest game in the world, and um, Mike Morales and the team wanted to introduce it to the world. They wanted to make an accessible, cheap copy, right? A uh, cheap version of the game, right? And the reality is they made a box that really doesn't function as a box set. Like, you don't just pull the cover off the top like you did every other box set ever. It's really just kind of cheap paper, right? Like, whereas a box set is closer to cardboard. But the the D and D starter set that came out in like 2016, uh, maybe 2015, um, it's um, it's very flimsy and it really doesn't function as a box for the box set, right? So, and then, um, and so it just wasn't a great product. Okay, so 20, June 2019, the D and D Essentials uh, kit comes out now. First and foremost, I want to talk about this. The fact that they named it the D&D Essentials Kit was very, very carefully done. They could have just said that this is the new D&D starter set, right? And then what happens is all of the people who bought the starter set go, oh my gosh, I got to rebuy this set, right? I have to rebuy a new D&D starter set and my old one is trash, right? Also, all the merchants who had the old, the old starter set on their shelves... It's trash now because there's a newer, better version now, right? But if you say the D&D Essentials Kit, you can let people believe that this isn't a new starter, a D&D starter set, and that it is additive to the D&D starter set. Now, I'm convinced, I don't know this for sure, but I will bet dollars to donuts that, um, uh, I will bet donuts to dollars <laughs> uh, that I'll, I'll bet you, <laughs> I, I'm so certain of this. The D and D star set's done. I don't think they're going to make any more of them, right? There's just no need to, right? The D and D essentials kit surpasses the D and D starter set in every single way. It's better dice, so the dice are fantastic. It's a full D and D set of dice, and in addition to that, one extra D twenty and three D and three extra D sixes. So you have four D sixes in there that you can roll. Wonderful. You have two D twenty, so you can actually roll advantage and disadvantage. Fantastic. I love that they're putting in four D sixes. I personally feel I feel that at the corporate level, Mike Merles and the team no longer have the courage to say roll your freaking stats, right? Like I'm old school. I love rolling stats and but I do require a witness. Can I get a witness? Right? Like I want my I want my players all to roll at the same time, roll up their stats and then play with the stats they have. Period. I, I think it's a much better model than built than um, then build by point. Build by point is for cowards. That's that's my take. All right, the the dice are so in the D and D essentials kit as opposed to D and D starter set. The dice are better. The rules summary is better. The map is better. The adventure is better. The character sheets are better, and there are, and the cards, which are combat items, NPCs, conditions, and initiatives, have absolutely no equivalent right within the D and D starter set. And in addition to this, I think the D and D starter set is five dollars more than the traditional D and D starter set. But it's but it's three times a better, so it's a much better value. It's a three times better product, but only costs twenty five percent more. So that's good value. It's really fantastic value. This fully replaces the starter set, um, and and I, and I got no beef with. Mike Merles and the design team over over the D and D starter set. They got a million things to worry about, and I really think you know just they did the best they could at that point in time, right? Uh, the one on one rules uh, with the sidekicks is fantastic, and again, there's no equivalent. That's in the D and D Essentials kit. There's no equivalent to it in the D and D starter set. It's really fantastic. Um, and then I also really love this idea of the cards. The cards are fantastic. I loved reading through the cards, and I'm really looking forward to using the cards in play. Um, they're just fantastic. Also, I want to be really clear. I am just such a huge fan of the D&D Essentials Kit. I bought the D&D Essentials Kit. I bought the D&D Starter Set. I have no use for either one. I have I, I have a collection that far surpasses anything that 
I would get in these starter sets. The reasons I buy these, and I will always buy new starter sets, is it's very important to me. I came in when I was 12 years old into Dungeons & Dragons, and I bought the red box, right? And I always, especially now that I have enough money to do this, I always want to know when a 12-year-old comes into the game, what are they seeing You know, at any point in time? And I'll tell you right now, the D&D starter set, that makes me weep crocodile tears that any 12-year-old had to deal with that, right? Because that, that really did not excite anybody about the game, in my opinion. The D&D Essentials Kit, that excites people. That is a great product worthy of the Dungeons & Dragons name. It is fantastic product. I absolutely love it. It's worthy of the name, right? Um, I absolutely love the marketing that they did, how they carefully used the D&D Essentials Kit name to preserve the value of the D&D starter, uh, starter set to preserve it for the people who bought it already and to preserve it for the merchants. This was brilliant. Uh, Mike Morales is just knocking it out of the park. He does such a fantastic job. A lot of people think Mike Morales is important because he, he was good at building rules. No. He was good at building rules. He was good at building teams. And he was awesome at marketing, right? Uh, the idea that they took this, um, that they, they took the D&D Essentials Kit and made it uh, a Target exclusive... I literally, for the first time ever, went to Target and I set up um, a, a situation like that online account where you can just pick it up, right? Because I had trouble finding it where I was, right? Because it wasn't on the shelf. And I asked an employee and they were like, I don't know what that is. And so I just went right on the site and they're like, yeah, we got it for you. And I'm guaranteed, I, I'm almost positive they did not have it in the shop, but they do, they ship from shop to shop and they'll literally drive stuff from one shop to went to another shop in order to build people who will order online and then come pick it up in the store because that is incredibly helpful to the, to, to the, you know, you're building markets for decades by getting people to do that. Right. And so I did that with Target and my goodwill for Target went up purchasing this product through them as an exclusive. It's exclusive with them through June all the way through September. And then it'll be available everywhere in September. And I thought this was awesome. I really think it's, it's, it's just kind of sexy that, uh, that Target has this exclusive product. It's really, it's, it, 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 it increased my goodwill for Target and it made me feel better about the product because I'm like, oh, Target wanted this as a exclusive product because they see the value in D&D. &D. It's just so, so wonderful. Um, I love that temporary exclusivity. I think that I really would like to see them continue to do this. I would love for there to be competition between Walmart and Target and, you know, um, and other shops to have the D&D &D products as exclusives. I think that is just so cool. I love it. Um, my hat is off to, um, to Mike Merles. Uh, my hat is off to Kate Welch, who worked on this product, to Chris Perkins, uh, to Jeremy Crawford, Crawford. Uh, there's just so much great work that went into this box. I'm really, really proud of the team for building this. And I didn't need this box. I bought this box for $25. It gave me $75 worth of joy. Um, I just loved reading through the entire thing and just literally just rubbing the cards on my face, right? Like, it's just such a beautiful um, product. It's really fantastic. And I really, it, it matters to me what an American 12-year-old teenager sees when they open up that D&D &D starter box. And I, you know, the real life, um, the real life Will Byers, you know, the real life um, uh, Mike, you know, uh, and, you know, what is their experience? And it really matters to me. And uh, the real life Erica, you know, what are they going to see when they open that box? And when I opened the cover on that box and saw what young Americans are going to be buying to launch them into this a hobby, I was like, thank goodness. You know, the D&D &D starter set just really didn't do it. But this this box does. It really it really brings the game alive. And I, I'm just wonderfully excited to see it. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. Did you get it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.